What is an imaginary number? Is it even real? What's going on? Ah! For this video, I will be using some unique terms. The commonly used terms relating to imaginary numbers were first used in the early 1600s to be derogatory and misleading. These terms are real numbers, imaginary numbers, and complex numbers. There are better words we can use to describe these numbers. Direct numbers describes a straight line. Lateral numbers describe numbers to either side of the number line, and compound numbers describe the combination of direct and lateral numbers. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. We're about to visualize this. Close your eyes. Come on, do it. Have you closed your eyes yet? Okay, good. Imagine yourself walking in a straight line. You can see in all directions, but you only know how to move forward. So you walk forward. Now you need to go backward and face the other direction. How do you do this? One way is to just turn around. You can literally turn by 180 degrees or half a circle. This is the exact same thing as multiplying by negative one. The negative sign just means to turn around 180 degrees and go in that direction. Now imagine that there is an object to your left. You only know how to go forward and backward. So how do you get it? If you said, turn and get it, you are correct. You can turn sideways 90 degrees and then go straight. So now you can walk forward and backward and sideways. We are almost there. Finally, let's say that you need to reach something that is not on your path. How do you reach it? Well, you can walk forward, then turn 90 degrees, and then walk to the object. Congratulations, you can now visualize compound numbers. Looking at that last exercise, if an object was three steps forward and two steps to your left, you can walk three steps forward, turn 90 degrees, and walk two more steps. That turn to your left is represented by L, the square root of negative one. Since a negative sign means turn 180 degrees, you need to turn less than that, so you can simply turn 90 degrees or the square root of negative one. If you turn 90 degrees twice, it is the same thing as multiplying by the square root of negative one twice, which equals negative one, or 180 degrees. If you multiply by L three times, you end up turning to your right, or 270 degrees, which is three quarters of a turn. If you multiply L four times, it is the same thing as turning 360 degrees or one full circle. That's all there is to direct and lateral numbers, also known as real and imaginary numbers. Thanks for watching. Close your eyes. Come on. Do it. Have you closed your eyes yet? Okay. Uh, good. 